In this example, we want to find the derivative of f of x equals 2 tangent of sine of x squared. Okay, and all of that's going to be raised to the uh, third power. Okay. All right, so again, we're going to, uh, we have a, a composition here of uh, three functions. Okay, actually four functions. Okay, you have the x squared, the sine, tangent, and then the power. So we're going to have to apply the general power rule uh, multiple times here. Okay, so again, the strategy is that we start with the outside power and then work our way towards the inside, inside the argument. Okay, all right, so we have f prime of x. Okay, so we're going to take care of the outside power first. So we're going to have three times. Okay, so bring down the three. So that's going to leave us with one, or, I'm sorry, leave us with two. So we have tangent squared of sine x squared. Okay, and I'm going to have to make some space here. All right. Okay, so then times the derivative. of tangent okay tangent of sine of x squared okay so we took care of the power first and then now we're going to take the derivative of the remaining part okay so then uh, we're going to get three times tangent squared sine x squared times the derivative of this. So the derivative of tangent is going to be secant squared. Okay, so we're going to have secant squared of sine x squared. Okay, and then we're going to multiply that by the derivative of sine x squared. Okay, all right, so we took care of the power and the second step, uh, we took care of the tangent part. Okay, and then now we have to take the now we we continue this. Okay, and we have to take the derivative of sine x squared. Okay, so we have three times tangent squared of sine x squared times secant squared of sine x squared, and then take care of the take take the derivative of that so that's going to be cosine x squared and then we take the derivative of x squared so that will be the last part okay so we have three tangent squared times three tangent squared of sine x squared okay times secant squared of sine x squared times cosine x squared and take the derivative of this that's going to give us 2x okay so we have to apply the uh, general power rule right uh, three times here okay because we had three different uh, we have uh, four functions so general rule is that if you have four functions then you have to do n minus one uh, power rules all right, so now uh, we can go ahead and simplify from here. Uh, so we have uh, three and two, so three times two, we get six. So I can put the x in front, so six x tangent squared of sine of x squared times secant squared of sine x squared times cosine of x squared. Okay, yeah, it's quite a bit there, um, but uh, yeah, we got our solution. So that turns out to be the derivative of our uh, given function, okay?